What's up guys, this is the Brothman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to run off where we left off, the army of Andre Beagler had raided into uh, Italian territory and he is now being attacked by Antonio Barsanti. So we have got a... F a I don't know, force is pretty depleted. Then again, so is theirs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight this one, but we're going to be relying um, on our artillery in um, to deal with the overmatch in infantry because even though I've got more elite infantry they have more of it so there's a red da da there's a danger they can overwhelm um, a particular flank of their choice and then cause us some real real problem position ourselves ourselves correctly Ooh, this is an interesting interesting field so Get my guns deployed first. Let's pick infantry units of roughly the same size. Let's go in the middle. And then probably stretch it out a bit more so I can get my other guns up in a position that aren't covered with trees. Deploy you guys here. Deploy this unit. You know, you need to show here to protect this unit of guns. To put on the howitzers. Yeah, go on, let's put you here. Let's put my lancers and cuirassiers on the left flank. And my musketeer à la garde. And my horse guards on the right. Turn off, turn off fire at will. So they'll just kill each other. Then my general in the centre. Here they come. So I'll take as much of their artillery as I can. Let's get my howitzers to start working on the on their uh, infantry, then I'm probably going to want my cavalry to start doing something. Ooh, hello, are they? Okay, hold on, let's deploy. Move the cavalry out because it's time to be a bit. New form square, bring the cavalry in. General's bodyguard, no less. Depends how quickly these chaps will reload. Turn fireball off. Oh, lose some horses due to friendly fire. We have retargeted these guys. Good. Get my cavalry up and out of the way. Let's get my houses to get to get to work. So let's get these chaps to start having a crack with their cannons. square formation into line because they're going to be much more vulnerable. Let's just pound the pike unit. Okay, so they're running up. Let's get to 
work. Let's watch where the musket fight. Cannons are shooting into my cavalry, so you shoot at the SAR unit instead. You guys are going to feel pretty uncomfortable in a minute. Redeploy these this cavalry over really to help support. I mean, I know I'm going to run them into pikemen, but okay, let's go take out the guns. Oh, I'm out signing a firing quick line. Also three, you continue to work on them. Preferably kill that unit. Good. I'll work on this unit. Okay, let's take this infantry. Move along, move along. The artillery focus on that line of infantry unit. Bring my marauding cab back in. Especially the back of that footline unit that's hitting this militia's gone a bit funky. It's very nice of the, my, of the pikemen to. Oh, they formed square. Good. So then my line infantry can I just volley after volley into them. Good stuff. Okay, let's turn off that. I'll actually run them into there as well. Hussar unit. Let's turn firewood back on from my militia. Good stuff. Let's continue it for a little bit because there's so many, there's so much Italian infantry on the field. So let's take all my artillery. Except for my howitzers, because they're no longer firing. Turn them off. So try kill this unit of line infantry, then go after the pikes. You go up after them. Whether or not you can reach them or not is another question. Actually, you guys come over here. Three put so there's a guy there, there's a guy up here, and there's a guy down here. So the guy up there's gone. Good. Chase after the Swiss pikes. Everyone's engaged, so let's speed up time. And just let the AI do its thing. Okay, now you continue to chase them up the hill. 
yeah, my general's gonna. Well, they run into run into the guns. Oh no, they're not gonna get a workout. Come back here and help them. Same with you. Whoa, too many. Chomp. Three, two, one. Go over here, even though there's only two guys left. One. Got him. Everyone on the Swiss pikes now. <laughs> of which there is eight. Two, one. Decisive victory for Andre Bigler. Very. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull back, probably, because that's quite a nice hammering. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely want to pull back. Get the hell out of there. Redeploy. Ooh. Interesting. Yes. So we're going to fight a Sally from the Pueblo and Nations. So we've got to bear in mind that the guys... The guys that are attacking us are actually few and far between. So we want to face most of our fire backwards. Attacking from forts can be good. It can really throw people off balance. So, the true deployment zone, I think, is over here. So if I just do this... units in the mix. Compagnie de France. Let's put you up out, out here on the flank. Deploy two units of pounces. So let's deploy the remainder of these units forwards just to make sure there's no easy ways for them to flank. Deploy the Cavalry in a sensible position, general in the middle. And there's another gun. There it is. Actually, let's do all that. Then put the gun in the centre. Unlimber them. Whoa, okay, okay. Fire and drop spin around and immediately kill your own team. And then charge. It's going to kill some of my Royal Scots, but. What I can do about that. Uh, can I on the move? So I'm just going to quick climb and just start. volley off hopefully before you get charged. Nope, they have charged the wrong ones. Engage the tribal gunners because I was going to get completely smashed yourself anyway. Counters go to work on their infantry. French company, come back. Okay, so let's get my 
guns. Keep an eye on my lan those lances. Square. Quicklands doing the work though. And for, get you guys out of square, get you guys to form a line up here. Oh god, this French Marine Company. Oh, these tribal gunners didn't get it though. is a modern war. Okay, they take up that war society before... Oh no. Sorry, you guys redeploy. Redeploy to chase them down. You're about to be charging the front, but my men are up to the task. Oh, the bows are back in town. It's a route. Yes, they are. Far too is still just sat there firing away. Continue the charge. Straight on into these garrison bowmen. French colonials. Showing them what for. Can you shoot at them instead? Ah, oh, that saw them off. Let's continue for a little bit. So let's turn this off, turn you off. So let's pick Garrison Native Bowman. That's what we want to kill. Oh, let's just go for the, this Garrison Native Bowman. Because they're garrison stuff, that means I can take their city easier next turn. So it's just there's a unit over there on the hill that's gonna rout. Close, close. That wasn't close. Biff, but still wasn't close. It was a nice win. Good, that's not them back. Nope. 
No peace. I want your territory, damn it. Yeah, the Venetians are very unhappy because I've taken Venice. Jo Georgians. Georgians want to move to somewhere. Oh, they're just going to raid. Let them raid. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Bottle just fell off. Baton Rouge. To build, upgrade farms. Keep you on the move to New Mexico. This battle's effectively already happened. Yeah, and you're already dead. Chop. So knock down Texas. Knock down the the Native American farmland. Build new roads. Keep the spy on going onwards to Mexico. Yeah, lots of up in Louisiana farms. Buildings in Cuba. There goes my phone as well. My hall's being rebuilt. Kashmir's being rebuilt. Good, and just widespread upgrading. Upgrade this. So much stuff to upgrade. Yeah, be your frontiersman. Good stuff. Nation destroyed, Pueblo Nations region captured, Texas. So, back to our victory conditions. I believe it's just Genoa. Oh, Genoa and Corsica, isn't it? Yeah, Corsica and Liguria. So let's take... Oh yes, the damn Venetians are being annoying, aren't they? So where's my nearest actual good fleet? Come on, these guys to sail over to Crimea to pick up this army to do the Corsica attack. Oh, I also landed it. Okay, let's quickly brush these chaps aside. Yeah, I'll take a second rate ship of the line. Let's evict these ships. Get my main fleet in board. Let's take the army and embark. Set you to lay siege to Naples. You are replenishing. You are well, not replenishing, but you are now. Let's try to get my power. Got him. And I learned recently this was the guy from the French Revolution who went a bit crazy. And this guy is Constantine Soult, which is nice. Okay, so this is the army I'm going to want to do the. Or is it the one I'm going to want to do the attack? Or is it just going to be one of these? Because these guys have all the cool units. I think it'll be you. So let's bring you back to here. Then when the time comes, he will sail across the river and hit the city. Like I said, because they've got lots of cool units. And I think I'll probably bring you in as... Uh, let's probably put you... Here. And then I want these guys to move in as reinforcements. Good. So let's hit N10. Ah, maintain siege in Santo Domingo. My armies are on the move. Ah, good stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to give you such a really good military tech for a not needed naval tech or military tech economic tech Ooh, and the Spaniards are sallying so let us fight they're just sallying out of much trouble where's my pen gone there he is I've got a little book of all the episodes and I mark them off as I'm well I have not marked off this one 
Okie dokie. So. Should be fairly simple. Got some howitzer, got some mortars to watch out for though, so I'll probably want to send some cavalry on a bit of a loop there. Hell of a good army. And the terrain is a bit of a bit frustrating. So we're gonna to want to deploy back. We don't want to deploy back so we don't so we have a good field of fire for our guns, and because they are attacking it just makes sense to give our artillery that sort of advantage. So actually I might not need all of you. Let's just take you out. Come on. There we go. Take these guns and deploy them up on the crest of this hill. Alongside these 12 pounders. It's got the French company. You deploy there, and if they don't fire any special shots, then they should be okay. You guys get up here, ready to deploy out. Chateau de Fichia can also deploy up here. And you can deploy front about here. So then, one house is going to be on this flank. Percussive shells. Let's give percussive shells a look. One cavalry. So you just go there. General takes the position up on the hill. Good. Play stakes, play stakes, play stakes. I didn't actually get any guns, but killed some of their horse teams. No nope, round shot still doesn't get them any targets, but I may as well have them fire round shots. Then let's speed up time. Because the artillery is going to, the round shot is going to still keep flying in, although I doubt it's probably going to be as effective as it was in that opening salvo. Good, the mortar crews have abandoned their guns. Okay, now my hearts have opened up with a round shot. But I'm going to want to do percussive shot. Let's pick this one to aim at this unit, because I want to actually see what... Oh, before I do that... Bring back my chasseur. Same on this flank. Just, just apply them a bit on the edge, although by the looks of it, they're all going to funnel straight in. So let's pick my powerful artillery on the hill. They're not going to shrapnel range, but I'm going to have it turned on shrapnel range to hit those guys when it comes into position. So you'll hit no, no target for them. Look at them, I want to see what happens. So we all know how well Quicklime does against... Okay, he fired... Whoa! Okay, hold on. Probably not bad if you're not expecting them to kill lots of stuff. But we are. Okay, shrapnel shot for some weird reason. Because for some weird reason the mortar crews can fire shrapnel shot. Okay, let's get my light infantry out on the flank. Let's pull my artillery back a bit. This kind of artillery unit can still fire percussion shot because you've got all these guys to actually do the killing. So 
can see already quick climb shots just it's obviously doing the work but it isn't it? Beautiful quick climb shot that would be. If they reload in time. Shells away. Hit this unit and then like over into the ones behind. That's what I want. Just, just cough. Bam, bam, bam. Although they're all missing. This flank's going to be a bit isolated. Let's run my cover out a bit more. Because you aim for them, you aim at them. God, they really are forming like a column. In which case, then. Oh, they're running as well now. Stakes have actually placed. And the shrapnel shot's a bit funky. Beautiful quick line target. And there's a conscripts, four old conscripts. So pick off that unit of conscripts on the flank. smashed into by my line infantry. Yep. Poor souls. So you chop them to bits. Seven. Come on. Ooh, I see you, cavalry. Damn. They're positioning up to do fire support on the front of their infantry, but instead, just... <laughs> no way, you stay where you are. So you come up, you guys can count a little bit like that. Yep, I charged my light infantry in because you may as well. If you're going to be charged, it's better that you you are also charging, I generally find, than just letting them charge you. Okay, my, line my light infantry go on to take out the guns. This unit of infantry actually start to form up and come back to enjoy to join the main melee. Yeah, it's 
fuller tree. Say it was a dominator tree until this was artillery. He's sticking around. You engage the horse artillery. Should say to Fisher, you take in. Take out the horse artillery. Look at this guy doing full Aragorn. In he goes. of people that can be killed but good with that particularly because they're an army inside a city they're not a, a roaming garrison a roaming force need to take care of yeah that's pretty damning 10 to 1 that's what happens though when you send poor quality infantry up against high quality infantry i'm glad the spanish haven't been silly buggers they've actually just hunkered down and left me alone absolutely to join the war on my allies because I could break it to be honest but I don't want to I could break it but I don't want to be at war with Austria or be be a pain so let's just stick with it for now so the Austrians have reopened the eastern front the, the Russians have reopened the eastern front the Mughal Empire gentleman is still on the move. I can't help but feel he probably would have been better placed at their university to actually do research. And then Dagestan are probably going to sally out any day now. Let's not do that. Let's let him do that. <gasps> Italian states are going to try and amphibiously assault me. Where are they going to go? Cairo? <gasps> Jerusalem. But I have walls, so that's going to go horribly wrong for you. So, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time to, for the repulsion of the Italian attack on Jerusalem. Radio, cheers, guys.